Okay, guys, let's start off with the two primers that I have been using the most, my Elf Cookies and Dream, which is nothing new, and my one size, what is this called? One size Secure the Sweat Dry Till Dawn Primer. Been loving, 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 loving this combination. When I say my makeup doesn't move or go anywhere, and I was really skeptical at first, about the one size primer because I'm like even though I'm Ollie combo I really don't like to be extremely matte so I'm like what if this makes me dry and like really matte but it doesn't it does not dry your face out pair it with my cookies and dream Perfect combination. And you I always get primer right there. And you only need a dime size amount, which means this primer is probably going to last you if you have it for a really long time because you only need a dime size amount. So I take it and like kind of warm it up a little bit before I put it in my T-zone or my nose. I try to get on top of my eyebrows because I can get all the on top of those. Okay, let's color correct and set the smile lines with my peachy paint pot. And to me, that, that primer is not like extremely matte. It's kind of hydrating in a way. I don't know if it's because I paired it with my e.l.f. Um, Cookies and Dream primer. But to me, it's, you know, kind of moisturizing. I'm going to prime my eyes with my Makeup Revolution in dark. I can't find my medium one for nothing. There's no idea where it is. And it's only me in the house that wears makeup, so it's got to be around here somewhere. Just grew legs and got away from me. I think liquid blushes are taking over for the summer. Like everybody is coming out with the liquid blush. Everybody. When I look online, I'm like, they say liquid blush. Urban Decay has one now. I guess you know how to munch. You want to be as comfortable in your makeup as you can. You don't want to be caked up. Let me get a palette. Okay, guys. So, this is the new MAC palette that I purchased from Ulta. If you haven't seen my Ulta haul, go ahead and check that out. Y'all know my microphone died. I, at this point, I think my loyal people know that my microphone is like, Nana, what are you doing? I need you to remember to plug it in and do the right thing. So, yeah, from now on, I'm going to be clear to go because I made a mental note. But, yeah. So, I'm just taking the black shade with one of my Wet n Wild brushes and I'm putting that in my outer V. 
I'm only using two colors today, no transition color or anything. Y'all know um, I like eyeshadow. I like to do different types of eyeshadow looks, but I'm slight, kind of lazy with it because I only really want to use two, maybe three. When you start getting into like the four or five eyeshadows, I'm like, mm -mm, I'm done. I I'm not putting five eyeshadows on my lid. I only got two eyeballs. Yeah. So, <laughs> and then I take a clean brush and I'm blending it out. And I was talking to you guys again as usual. Didn't realize that my microphone was gone for the day. It stepped out the building. But yeah. So, the main focus of this look was the yellow because I was going to use that yellow if it was the last thing I did. That was the main purpose of me purchasing this palette was the yellow and you see how much it, how pigmented it looked on my eyelid with no, you know, added spray, no added glitter primer or anything. It's very hard in my opinion to find a yellow shade that really makes that pops and I love yellow 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 is one of my favorite colors so yeah I'm always going to look for yellow and I'm oh that is beautiful just me sitting here editing the video and looking at it that yellow is fabulous I love mac mac is making a comeback in my life it never really went nowhere but now, recently, with all the new launches that they're coming out with, I am here for it. So I just go back in between the two shades, the black and the outer V, and then the yellow, just pack, just in case I lose any eyeshadow or, you know, I feel like I can use some more. And that's me. Once I do them, the shoulder dance, then y'all know I'm really, like, feeling the eyeshadows. <laughs> so, yeah, I just pack, pack. Nothing major. Just, oh, that yellow is so pretty. And I have the eyeshadow right here. I need to look. It'll, of course, all the items I use will be in the description box. And I'll put the name of the eyeshadow palette. But I swear I have looked all over that eyeshadow box and the palette trying to see what the name of it is. And I don't see a name, but I know online it's a name for it, but I don't see it on the box. So for foundation today, I'm going to use my Joa Cosmetics BB Cream. Yeah, BB Cream in Mocha. Y'all know I purchased this from CVS. I have a review on my channel already. Love this BB Cream, even though it's a tad bit darker than my... See, that was me realizing that... I'm going to go check it out. I'm going to go check the microphone to see. It's two pieces. One that sits on my desk and then one that sits in front of the, on top of the camera. And so the one that was on top of the camera was um, dead. So, yeah. But um, it's neutral, which is fine. As long as it's not red or orange, then I'm good. It can be as deep as it want to be because once I highlight and everything, I'm good to go. And as you can see, this BB cream has a little bit of sheen to it, but I'm never scared of shine, a little radiant, as long as I'm not oily, okay? Don't make me oily. I don't want to look like I bent under the hood of a car trying to fix a motor. I just, no, mm -mm, not today. <laughs> so I'm just taking my sponge, patting it out, making sure, you know, everything is covered. So I think, yeah, I think I used two concealers today. I went in with my e.l.f. 16 hour matte concealer in deep chestnut and this was kind of like a highlight shade but not really not really it's crazy how some months ago i would have thought that this was my highlight shade and like it gave me all the highlight i needed and then a couple of months later i'm like no i need more highlights so just looking at you know the playback of the video like, dog, oh, did I really think that that was a highlight? It's not really a highlight. It's lighter than me, but it's not giving extra highlight for me. Here are my Thread Beauty Foundation Stick in 210. Taking that to contour with just along the edges, you know, my forehead. And I took some of my Lancome Tinto Concealer in 495. That's my foundation shade. That's the shade I have in the foundation. So I just took it and put it on that little spot to see if maybe it can conceal just a little bit more. We'll see because at this point I can't remember. And take my Car Beauty Sponge and blend out that concealer. Yeah, is it, it as you see? It gave like a slight, a very like slight, slight, slight highlight, but nothing major. 
Then I went in with my Joy Cosmetics and Tan to Deep Concealer just to give me that extra pop that I'm always looking for. I always want to feel a little bright and a little, you know, just a little highlight. Just a little highlighted. I don't know. I always say powdering and bronzing and contouring is my favorite steps when doing my makeup. But at this point, I don't know what's my favorite step. I think all of them are my favorite steps. My least favorite step is cleaning my makeup brushes. <laughs> I'm taking my Maybelline Superstay Powder, the original formula, and 332 Caramel. Yeah, 332 Caramel, and that's what I use to set my highlighted areas. I love this to set my highlighted areas. I just feel like it sets everything into place, and I'm so mad with Maybelline for discontinuing this and coming out with like a new formula that doesn't do anything for me. Next up is my Black Radiance Pressed Powder in Black Coffee. I'll use that to slightly set the contour, you know, just to give me that bronzy look. I can't remember if I did blush. I think I did because I think I used a new blush. Yeah, I used the Rare Beauty, the new blush, Virtue. Virtue. And this was my first time using it. I think that this gave me a very subtle uh, flush of color. It wasn't nothing drastic, nothing major or whatever. This was my first time trying it. So, of course, we're going to revisit it. I like shades like this. I want the shades to pop on me, though. You know, I like subtle orange, kind of like orange-brown looking blush shades. But I want them to pop on me. And I don't like shiny blush either. So I have to calm that down with powder. Because on liquid, on these liquid blushes, I've noticed lately that they had a lot of sheen to them. I don't like shiny blushes. So I'm taking my MAC Studio Fix Pressed Powder in NW48. Yeah, NW48 to set the remainder of my face, dust away any powder, all of that good stuff. I can't believe that the microphone turned off. I was talking like so good in the beginning. Good thing I looked because I just sort of kept talking. Then I set my face just a little bit with my NYX Bear With Me spray. And because that blush wasn't popping a lot, I used my Ruby Kisses blush palette from the beauty supply store just to add just a little bit more blush says the person who doesn't like blush like not a make up your mind if you gonna like it or you don't like it so then i went in with a new lip liner from beauty creations check out my haul video on that i did some lip swatches of the lip liners and the liquid lipsticks but I think I use XXX and something else. It'll be in the description box. But these are very subtle browns. They're not as dark as my chestnuts. And y'all know how I feel about that. Every time I would do a voiceover on my phone, it's like going to go off. It's like nobody ever. And this is Oh Honey or My Honey I use for a lipstick. Love this combination. Love it. I love a simple like, I got on lipstick, but I don't got on lipstick, but I got on lipstick. I just love a new lip. Just put it like that. Love a new lip. And then I think I went in. Okay, that's my Patrick Star Lip Liner. And it's a deeper type of brown. So, yeah, I had to deepen it up just a little bit because it um, it's given. I don't know where my lip line is. Dust away. And then I think I went in with a gloss. Maybe it was my Sephora gloss. Yeah, Sephora gloss, and that's in the shade Honey also, just to give me some glossy. Spray my face, and I didn't come in with an outro because my mic was off, and I said that I was going to come back and do an outro when I came back from work, but of course I got off work and completely forgot all about it. So, you guys will see the end results. I just did a little slow motion for you to see the end results. Oh, I took some translucent powder. I felt like underneath my eyes was like extra shiny. I used a Maybelline Fit Me Concealer to conceal underneath my eyebrows. And I felt like it was going to be really oily and shiny. And here is my so-called slow-mo. Just so you can see the completed look and how it turned out. But I promise from now, now on, I'm going to check my microphone. Plug my microphone up at night. 
so I can make sure in the mornings we are good to go. But as you can see, the yellow eyeshadow is popping. The face is simple. The lips is simple. But the eyes was the main something. The main something of the show. I forget what they call it. Whatever it is. The main whatever for the show. Beautiful. Love some yellow. Bye, guys.